nice to have a well, all of us human beings might be so very genetically, physically, politically, diversely, culturally different. I think it's fair to say that we all hope for one thing in 2020. That this year plays out like a mullet. Horrifying in the front and a party in the back. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs. Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. shipyard where we get a new hat every year we'll probably end up getting a dog leash because they have dog leashes I don't know why but they have dog leashes and they they work good um, and they have really good breakfast and that's it and you just keep on going to make it really awkward uh, <laughs> Happened. Do you know what happened, Patty? Yeah, you jumped on it and then, like, something. I don't know. You gave up. You gave up. The garage is open. You should ask him if we can come aboard. Background yet? No. Is it in the background yet? Yeah. So we are going to look at Fort Adams. Fort Adams which is a really old fort. You can tell because it looks old. There's rocks on it. Booyah! Actually, they have a secret entrance in the fort. <laughs> Are you mad at me? <laughs> We're gonna, there's an American flagpole that you can go and take a picture next to. And there's a tall ship or a colonial ship. There's a... Um, there is a marker, red marker number four that you'll pass coming into the inlet. And do not come to Newport, Rhode Island on Saturday. It's really busy. Is there anything else you like me to say? You guys are all swagged out. What do you got, Rennie? This is their anniversary. This is how he caught her the first time, though. He's gonna do it again. While we had a great time having my parents aboard, sadly, after a few weeks with us, it was time for them to say goodbye to us, and it was time for us to head to New Bedford to cruise with our friends on the Nordhaven 62, Emanu. So, funny story, we were in Nantucket a couple years ago. And see this storm door right here? You can hardly see it with the pennant flag right there. But there was a big storm and they shut these doors, these big storm doors to protect all the boats and the 
um, the property on the inside so they don't get a surge. And I, you kept on hearing on the radio calls from voters that are like, hey, I'm outside, can you open the door? And uh, of course, once it's closed, it's closed. They're not opening it. And so those voters just had to, they had to go somewhere. There's other places to go around here, but they weren't, they weren't able to go to go in. They weren't able to get in here, which was, uh, that would kind of be distressing if you got caught outside and they shut it. New Bedford is extremely rich in history. Known as the whaling capital of the world back in the late 1700s, New Bedford was a thriving city with an industrial atmosphere. Not only was New Bedford known for whaling, but its textile industry attracted people from various parts of the world, such as Poland, Portugal, France, Canada. This city produced the most cotton than anywhere else in the country during its textile days. New Bedford was also home to one of the largest stations for the Underground Railroad. If you're unfamiliar with the Underground Railroad, it was not actually a railroad, but more of an undercover system that protected fugitive slaves and allowed refuge and safety from recapture. A famous resident in New Bedford was Frederick Douglass. It is definitely worth checking this city out. Use your goggles! I'm not using my goggles. Sam's bad for God. The cake's done. Okay, the frosting's done too. Okay, let's put the frosting in the cake. Uh, we're not putting frosting in the cake. We're putting frosting on the cake. Just down the road is a quaint spot called Nonquit. Nonquit has a very chill summer camp vibe with gorgeous seaside homes. We spent the 4th of July holiday down on the beach and ended the night with a barbecue and of course, fireworks, which naturally resulted in a Roman candle war between the boys. Cue Harry Potter music. The next day we switched it up and decided to combine forces. We all jumped on to the Nordhaven 62 for a day cruise. The owners of MNU had their family and friends aboard, so it was fun getting to know everyone. We set off for the day to explore one of the Elizabethan islands called Nashon. We spent the day playing in the water and hiking around the lighthouse. Hold it like this, all the way in front, and point it down. Okay, ready? Oh my god! <laughs> Where'd it go? Come on, this way. Whoa! Here it go. Push it down, hold it down. Point it down. Do your wrist? Where do you do your wrist? Down. Yes, hold on, let her do it. She's doing it. Oh my god. Put it down. 
to where where are we at? Tarpon Cove, right off of Martha's Vineyard. Um, someone jumped off the boat and went to Martha's Vineyard, got picked up on the beach. And now what have we're we been doing today? Just swimming? Paddle boarding, jumping off the boat, Eating, swimming, drinking, messing around with that little uh, water scooter. Yeah, it's been a good day. It's a nice day. place. What Looks are like you boys of... doing? These guys are building a fan, making they a fan. Made a fan. So it's looking thank good. You fan me. Thank you. And the boys are making pizzas nice in the kitchen. Cool. Oh, you don't have any counter space. How are you gonna do that? I want some cups. We, have, we got this Starbucks. section right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. This is really funny. And pizza of all good. things. Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. Look how pretty it is, Rooney. Uh, yeah, I've been. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, I don't even know where we are. This is the... Yamaha. <laughs> the Yamaha boat. The boat is the Yamaha. Tarplin Cove Lighthouse. That's the Tarplin Cove Lighthouse right there. See it, Rooney? Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Okay. The sun is down, but... This is the Tarplin Cove Lighthouse right here. And like all lighthouses, it is the third oldest lighthouse. And it feels like every lighthouse is in the top five for the oldest lighthouse of some sort. So if you're a lighthouse, you got a top five ranking, probably there's probably like 50 lighthouses that are top five oldest from what I've seen from cruising up and down the East Coast. But they say that's the third oldest, right there.